Gordon DL, um, and I'm going to manage the Rangers team today, so looking forward to it. The former Rangers man, in some ways managing a Rangers team, you must be looking forward to this. Yeah, they're a good bunch of boys, I've had a wee training session with them, they're all enthusiastic about today's game, and they're here for one thing, and that's a charity to raise some money for it, so uh, the weather could be a little bit better for us, but... Uh, no, they're in good spirits. They were all here early, which I was very surprised on a Sunday, especially after a Saturday night. So they're taking it serious. I like how some of the players are looking bothered with tracks and everything. Just get out there, shorts and t-shirt, and get going with the warm-up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was looking at them. I couldn't believe that. Even when I was playing, there was no chance I would come out dressed like that. I always said the tracksuit bottoms on and the big jackets to even warm up. So, uh, no, it shows you how keen and enthusiastic they are. And heard from Robert, who's on the Rangers side and organising, he's had a personal story to tell, but the charity for Simba must be a big deal for them today. Yeah, they, they, they came to me, they, they phoned me up and asked me if I'd get involved in it, and uh, I'd say yes because of the, the, the charity and Robert, and I, I know Robert's story, and it's a sad one at that, and um, you know, we've got to give him a lot of credit. He's decided to do something about it and raise some money to help. So it's a great cause. It should be a real good game. And uh, I've been able to coax uh, an ex-Celtic player of Mark Wilson's quality to come along and join the Celtic team. So that'll be a good day. It's good for Mark, uh, I guess. He's you know, someone that's fresh off the, the field not so long ago to be part of this. Yeah, he's a bit of a ringer, I think, because uh, he's still a fit, fit boy. Um, you know, I think he should, he should still be playing professional football. And the boys in the Celtic team have got a lot of good uh, experience playing with him because he's a very knowledgeable boy about football and he's a terrific player. And you don't play with clubs like Celtic and Dundee United if you're not a good player. So uh, I think he'll enjoy it. Uh, he was looking forward to it. I was speaking to him Thursday night when we were doing the show. Radio Clyde and uh, he was really up for it so I'm delighted it's come along. And what do you make obviously with the, the Scottish Cup game being moved to Airdrie, this has been brought here, the EK board and trust have been kind of kind and the fans that have come here, it should be a, it should be a good atmosphere? Yeah exactly, I think uh, Robert was saying they've sold a few hundred tickets for it, uh, hopefully they'll turn up, I know the weather might put a lot off. But we've got to thank Eastwood Pride, right? they, were, they were tremendous. We didn't know, I was sitting in the Super Scoreboard show when I got a text saying that the Celtic game had been changed to every uh, the same day and obviously you're thinking the game's going to be cancelled but the club that Eastwood Pride right are tremendous. I know I've got a good relationship with them and uh, they phoned up and said look we'll give the use of the pitch and they're throwing it in for free as well which helps us uh, with more money to Simba, so you know East Kilbride have been the winners here, and as far as that's concerned, and we're delighted to be here because it's a great setup. Looking ahead to the game later on, obviously you've been in underdogs or have been heavy favourites for Scottish Cup ties. Um, what would the mindset will be for the East Kilbride side that are you know overwhelming well, underdogs? Be one of the biggest shocks ever. If they were yeah, well, I've been, I've been there in '94 um, when I was at Wraith Rovers. We, we played Celtic in the League Cup final at Ibrox and we were vastly underdogs then and we won the Cup. Uh, anything's possible in football, I think it'll be a big ask because uh, Celtic are full of quality players. Uh, but East Kilbride, I've been very impressed with the job the manager's doing. Uh, they've got one or two really good players, uh, could probably go on and move to a higher level. They'll enjoy it, there'll be a decent crowd there, and it's amazing the lift that you get from that. I just hope they can hold their nerves, because it is a massive, massive game for them. Uh, but to even get to that stage, you know, a club like this, it's just new, uh, to go and play Celtic uh, in the Cup, is, is a dream come true for them, and uh, I hope they have a fantastic day.